Hi, my name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today, we will be continuing my series on grape varieties. Barbera is an Italian varietal that makes dark red wines. It originates from the northwestern part of Italy, particularly the Piedmont region where it's largely grown. And it goes back at least to 1798, which is the first written records of this wine. Through recent genetic research, one of the parents of Barbera is known as Cocalona nera, an unidentified grapevine in the Piedmont region. There are multiple synonyms for Barbera. There's Barbera d'Asti, which is a region there in Piedmont. Uh, there's the Barbera Grossa, the Barbera Nera, the Barbaroni, Lombardesca, etc. There are many names. It's largely grown in Italy, but also to some extent in the United States, particularly in California, and in smaller amounts in Argentina. Barbera likes warm to hot climates. I don't actually have a marker here for it, so I put this red box down at the bottom. It's grown in regions similar to Zinfandel, so I put it in that zone. Barbera is a moderate to high vigor vine. It grows semi-upright with relatively long shoot inner nodes. It does well in most soils, but prefers clay calcareous soils, particularly those in Piedmont. It has medium-sized leaves that have five deep lobes with deep lateral sinuses and medium tooth margins. Barbera has a lyre-shaped or closed petiolar sinus. Its clusters are medium-sized, compact, long, and conical with long peduncles. It has deep blue-black berries, which are medium-sized, and ellipsoidal with thin skins. Its shoot tips are felty with a slightly reddish tinge, as you can see in this photo here. Barbera is a very productive vine on vigorous sites. It can be trained to either the Gallo or the VSP, which stands for Vertical Shoot Positioning, or single curtain systems. It has early bud break and a mid-season harvest. Barbera is sensitive to botrytis and Pierce's disease in the United States, and slightly sensitive to powdery and downy mildew. It's sensitive to boron and potassium deficiencies in sandy soils. It can have flower shatter when it's been excessively fertilized with nitrogen. Here on the right, you can see the godfather of Barbera in Amador County, Dick Cooper, standing by one of his Barbera vines in his vineyard. Dick has promoted Barbera big time in Amador, and many of the local wineries have originally gotten their grapes from Dick. And here's another picture in the bottom right-hand corner of Barbera vines in the Piedmont region of Italy. Barbera makes deeply colored wines. They have high acids with structured tannins. The aroma and fruit flavors of Barbera can be described as simple sometimes, neutral in other cases, but also flavors of cherry, strawberry, plum, blackberry, raspberry, violet, black pepper. Of course, not all of these flavors are in one single wine, it depends on the region and area and climate as to what characteristics are developing in the grape and when those grapes are harvested at what developmental stage. Barbera makes a large range of wine styles from light to full-bodied wines, non-oaked and oaked, sparkling wines, some made as spumanti or frizzanti, and Barbera is often used as a blending grape. There are seven registered clones or registered selections in California at the Foundation Plant Services. And you can find descriptions of these clones at this website listed here at UC Davis. And there are 16 clones that can be found at the viverosedo.com website in Italy. So there are more clones in Italy than we have in the United States at this point in time. In summary, 
So Barbera is a centuries-old grape that makes beautiful wines from northwest Italy. It is the most widely grown grape in the Piedmont region. It produces deeply colored wines with good acidity and tannins. It is an early bud break, mid-season harvest variety that likes warm to hot climates. And it is a relatively adaptable cultivar to a variety of soils and climates. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll get more videos like this and on other topics of viticulture and enology. Have a great day.